One child in four fails to reach the age of five. Average adult life expectancy is about 42 years. One woman dies every 20 minutes from birth-related complications. 23 years of war in Afghanistan has left behind a desperate health situation throughout the country. Making things even worse is the widespread poverty, the continuing instability and the remote and inaccessible terrain, restricting access to much needed medical expertise. The French Medical Institute for Children was inaugurated. The French Medical Institute for Children is an 85-bed facility with a mission to provide compassionate, accessible, cost-effective and quality healthcare. The inpatient service offers high-level patient care provided by a multidisciplinary team. Aga Khan University Hospital was established within the Aga Khan University. The Aga Khan University Hospital provides patient diagnosis and multidisciplinary patient care. Today, the hospital is a well-established and a renowned center of excellence, which is assisting the rebuilding process of Afghanistan through its role in managing the French Medical Institute for Children in Kabul. The FMIC is one of the few centers in Afghanistan that offers screening, diagnosis and a comprehensive range of radiology services. It offers services in general radiology, CT scan and ultrasound. The entire telemedicine project at the FMIC has been donated by Roshan and its technology partners under its Corporate Social Responsibility Program. Mobile operator, telecom development company Afghanistan Roshan was established. Launched in 2003, today Roshan is Afghanistan's largest mobile operator with over 1.3 million subscribers and a network that covers over 180 cities and towns all over the country. Improving public access to quality healthcare is a priority for Roshan. From the beginning, because of our heritage, Roshan has taken social responsibility and sustainable development very seriously. As you know, we are part of the Al Khan Development Network. Whether that has been in creating 20,000 jobs or providing services to more Afghans than anyone else, Roshan sees itself as a catalyst for reconstruction. Afghanistan has amongst the world's highest infant and maternal mortality rates. There's only one doctor in every 10,000 people, and in some districts there's not even a single doctor. So with this in mind, what could we do and how could we do to do something about this? The answer was a telemedicine project. Telemedicine project is launched. The first phase of the telemedicine project entailed the commissioning of a dedicated high-speed data link between FMIC in Kabul and the Aga Khan University Hospital in Karachi. This was achieved by leveraging Roshan's existing SDH microwave network in Afghanistan in tandem with the leased fiber optic circuit from PTCL in Pakistan. A video conferencing as well as a digital image transfer system was donated by Cisco and Almoid Netlink Technologies. Telemedicine uh, project embodies uh, Cisco's corporate social responsibility uh, where we normally focus on both education and healthcare. We would hope to see uh, the telemedicine project grow to provide a lot more interconnection points and provide a lot more availability to healthcare for citizens. The video conferencing system will enable patients and physicians in Kabul to interact face to face and in real time with specialists in Karachi for training and diagnosis. Most of our people uh, are in need of uh, medical services every day. Uh, unfortunately, the level of medical services is low. Our government is also working on the uh, concept of uh, introducing telemedicine in Afghanistan. Roshan uh, has taken the first initiative in, uh, in this uh, field. I think this is a, an excellent initiative which will bring uh, great benefits for the people of Afghanistan. This telemedicine solution encompasses the digitization of radiological images in Kabul such as X-rays and CT scans for transfer to Karachi, where specialists can provide an expert diagnosis. The images will be viewed and possibly printed in Karachi by specialists in order to offer a second opinion on difficult cases. A telemedicine is a, 
modern technology it's a communication technology and it is new even it's a new concept even in the developed world the technical modalities came in from Russia and Cisco and that's how we've been able to develop this real time uh, telemedicine at FMIC it has a big magnitude and i think we've just stepped into something which could be a milestone in the development of health in Afghanistan. Roshan has been our main supporter in many areas. Without their support, this telemedicine would have been a dream for us. We have been very fortunate, the university as well as our uh, colleagues in Kabul at the French Medical Institute for Child Children to have the generosity and the technical expertise of Roshan and Cisco. Roshan's corporate social responsibility program focuses on long-term sustainable projects. Over the next three to five years, Roshan will invest 1.5 million US dollars in telemedicine through its corporate social responsibility program. In addition to facilitating diagnosis, the video conference suite will be utilized for continuing medical education seminars, ensuring staff in Afghanistan are kept up to date on the latest medical innovations and discoveries. Telemedicine is planned for delivery in phases over three to five years. During this time, many Afghan regional hospitals are scheduled for connection to the FMIC and through the FMIC to the Aga Khan University Hospital. At a later stage, the opportunity for connections to centers in Western Europe and America are also very much a possibility.